Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Lodestar Gaming. My name is Tim. It is Wednesday. It is night. It is Genshin. How is everybody doing? We are in Sumeru City right now, hanging around with the Academia. We just had a nice discussion with Lisa. If you guys don't know Lisa, she's part of the newest quest line. Lisa is one of the Knights of Vonius. She's a Knights of Vonius librarian. And there is a quest involving her right now that we are in the middle of. And if you guys look, it is called Second Blooming. So it is, uh, Lisa is the Witch of Purple Rose, which is, she is a four-star character that you get from Mondstadt. And she actually is in Mondstadt right now. So we are doing the quest right now. We're actually going to, uh, she's on vacation right now, but we're actually doing some research for her through uh, the academia so we are headed out of this place and we are headed over to do some questing and as you guys can see we've gotten right in up to level 86 we are working on getting her squared away we are going to work on that as well i've also got kokomi squared away she really needs another artifact this is what i am working on here her crown of defense is not what i would like so i would have to roll for that to see if i can get something else i believe i have all of miss raiden's stuff taken care of it is pretty much uh high-end stuff i've got hp i've got crit damage which is huge for her attack so i'm really putting her on the offense because she is the off dps and then, of course, uh, Nahida, I've tried to keep her more uh, HP-wise and attack, uh, just getting her HP up and attack. Uh, that's what I'm working on for her since she is, I'm really just after her her abilities. And then, of course, Kadihara Kazuwa. I really need to get rid of this lovely thing so I can get him some attack or some elemental mastery, one of the two. But I'm really working on getting these guys up and running, and I've almost got them all to level 90. As you guys can see, I've also worked on their weapons. I got Kokomi's weapon to level 90, which is fantastic. She's in an R2 refinement rank. And of course, her talents I've worked on. I'm trying to get those up, but there is a lot to work on for her talents. So tonight, we can do the Reign of Violet. And I think I will show you guys that. I think I showed you guys that last time as well. But as you know, we have to grind for these mats for their talents. Reign of Violet happens to be here. And the mats for this are the Guide to Transients. There's several different ones. But I'm going to go ahead and get started in here and grind for these lovely, lovely talent mats. That's what's coming up here. And then we will get back into the questing here in just a second. But... We got to grind these talent mats, and it is not terribly fun to do that, but I want to get these guys' talents up to where I can utilize them fully, right? So, and I always like to fight anyway. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, that just killed her. Woo! That was rough there. Like I said, this group still has some definite work to do. I need to kill these guys. They are what they are hitting me with those ice. There we go. That's what I needed. Get these guys going. As you can see, I'm trying to get these reactions. And as you can see, Kokomi's definitely holding her own. As is Brian. So that worked out. So essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get their talent levels up so that they can do more damage with their end talents. If you guys can see, especially with Kokomi, her talents, as you can see when you level her up, her charge attack damage goes up, her three hit attack, that's her basic attack for her big burst, as you guys can see. Her max HP goes up, which is what does her damage. Her max HP is huge getting that going. And then, of course, this one as well. It regenerates max HP 
according to her. So what I'm trying to do is get her level up so that her max HP is higher. The higher her max HP, the more damage she does, the more healing she does. So that's why Kokomi's HP is important. That's why I need to get rid of that crown and get some HP on her. So now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and level up one of her talents. And the talent I want to level up is probably going to be her burst, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, I'll, I, I can level up that burst because that does a ton of damage off of that. So that's her big burst. So as you guys can see, I really want to get those things leveled up. Uh, I really want to get their their uh, their talents leveled up. I want to get their weapons leveled up. I want to get them leveled up. So that's what I am grinding on right now. So I think we'll go back in and do it again. I might do it at a lower level. I don't know. They were struggling, but we'll... Yeah, let's roll with it. Let's see what happens. So that's what I'm trying to do, essentially, is just get all these guys maxed out and what what do what's called a triple crown. Triple count, crown, as I told, told, told you in the last episode, were uh, all three of their main talents uh, up to uh, 10, level 10. So it's important for me to do that. Maximizes their ability to do damage, maximizes their ability to max out their elemental damage, which is important. Elemental damage, healing, whatever you want. All right, let's kill these little stinky guys first. Gotta keep moving. There we go. Around, around, go. All right, there we go. That does it. Kill these 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 ice guys are what really make it difficult. And the key is trying to avoid these samurai guys so that I can kill the range guys because they those ice those ice things hurt. See the burst? See how it hits and just blows everything up? Now I can take these guys out. Now I'm not getting hounded by the other guys. You guys can see when it's done correctly, you see the burst and how it does, how that damage just just cranks up, especially when you get the wind with Kadehara Kazuma, of course, Bloom effect with Nahida. Raiden's Electro, that gets the Hyper Bloom going, and the Quicken, and all the Electrical, and then of course Kokomi, which hits the main Bloom. So it's actually awesome. Now if you were doing Fire, there would be something called Burgeon, which essentially is Fire with Plant, or with, uh, uh, sorry, with uh, Dendro, which is excellent. So it works, those work just as well, if not more, so. And a lot of guys are using uh, Dendro Traveler. Dendro Traveler is a fantastic support uh, person, you know, I know a lot of people throw away Traveler and say he's not worth a damn. He or she's not worth a damn. But I think they, I think especially Dendro has made it extremely valuable. All right. Just trying to avoid these guys and killing these guys is what I've got to do. And get them bunched in. That's what Kazu was. The only reason, really, Kazu was in this is to get everybody gathered up. And then I can get everybody together, snap their picture with Bloom. Alright, got four more. There they are. See how they hurt. I mean, that just, it just, it does, it cripples me a little bit. Ow. To see, when you get bunched up with them, hitting you. As you can see, that Raiden really does a lot of damage. She's hitting very hard right now. Of course, he healed. But we'll take care of that real quick. 
But the key to this game, really, guys, is switching. Switching very quickly between characters to maximize the damage they're doing. See, there we go. And it just... That's the key, and that's the thing you want to do. And I will show you guys a couple of my other parties tonight to let you know kind of how I get I get these reactions going. My third party is the Eternal Freeze Party, which is fantastic. They have they need they have yet to be leveled up to where I need them to be because I've been really working on this this squad. But I'm going to go and do some uh, some experience, and I want to show you guys this group. They are absolutely fantastic. They're led by um, by Ayaka, Kamisato Ayaka. And Ayaka is a little bit interesting because she is one of the top DPS people in the game. She is right up there, and she's uh, very effective. And so essentially what I'm trying to do with this group, if you guys notice, it's got a similar build uh, uh, to the last one, uh, except in this case we're switching out uh, the uh, we're, we're switching out uh, Dendro with Ice and we're switching out Electric with Ice so we're doubling up the Ice why are we doing that well I was going to show you the group here oh looks like we got some fun coming so I've got Diona who is the healer of the group and she provides a good shield and then of course Mona is the Kakomi of the group Kaza was still doing his thing but this is why it's so good, because you can permafreeze a lot of people with Ayaka. She, see how she permafreezes everybody? You drop the water on them with Mona. Mona does this long-term water attack. And then, of course, you've got Ayaka, who hits just like a truck. And she is one of the... There's a reason she's one of the top DPS groups on here. And then, of course, you've got Diona, who does the same thing. This group struggles a little bit because they are lower level. Mona and Diona are much lower level. They're level 70, but Diona drops her heal. And then Ayaka just... Her burst is just absolutely fantastic. But you can see... You can see Kazuwa and everybody else. One with wind and cloud. Take flight. Shadows of But when she drops that, what you're looking for with her is you're looking for this long-term freeze. See how she freezes. She just hits hard. She hits very hard. So that is that group. Then there is another group. Of course, you guys know the Geo group, which is they don't really rely on any of, and that's these guys here. They don't really rely on those reactions. And then there's my last group, which they are way behind right now. But this is uh, more of a a, a a burgeon, not burgeon, more of a uh, uh, fire slash water slash electro group and so that one's not quite where i need it to be yet that's got bennett and, Sh and zhang ling and uh sing cho and a couple other people so and, and riding of course so that's that's another ss tier party that i'm working on so but this one right now is the group that i am sticking with and they are they, they've just been amazing for me to help what you see basically hits with one one hit and it just absolutely dominates so there now we've got oh there's two over here hello guys what are you guys up to now some of you would say there is a lot of similarities to this game that with, with Legend of Zelda yes there is a a lot of similarities in terms of cooking and all there, there's a ton of cooking recipes there's they are fighting against machines uh, ancient machines uh, there are a lot of puzzles there are a lot of different other quests this one's a little bit more involved than link is than legend of zelda is so that's why i like i, I like this game more because there's a lot more characters 
there's a lot more lands to discover and there's a deeper uh, a lot of deeper storylines in it too and if you guys uh, haven't checked this out there is going to be a Genshin uh, cartoon coming out, Genshin anime. So I'm looking forward to seeing that as well because the storyline is really good. So as we are tootling around this area, we don't have a re we don't have level ups ready for Raiden just yet. So we're going to continue to work that way. So I got to see if I've got artifacts. I've got to look and see what kind of artifacts I have that I need to upgrade. So I need to upgrade Raiden's. There's no doubt about that. So let me get started on that. But anyway. <clears throat> you need an artifact list. What you need is a group of artifacts that work best with these, with the, with each character, and it just depends on how you want to build your character. In this particular case, I want to build Raiden to have lots of damage, and she is working, working that way. So I'm going to uh, enhance her storm cage. I think I've got enough here. We're going to auto add some. I don't have a whole lot of artifacts that I have found. I haven't, so I've only got two sets. But you eventually level these up. And they will boost your stats. You want them to level 20. There are many different levels. You guys notice over here there are purple, which are 4 star. And then there, of course, there are orange or yellow or gold, which are 5 star. So I'm very uh, interested. We very want, we very, very much want the 5 star, even though the Rondorous trope we really don't need. We're looking for this certain other area. So anyway, you want to get the 5 stars. And you, it, it does require a lot of artifact grinding, which is not terrible, but it can be a little tedious at times. So let's head out. Uh, where are we going next? I think we want to go up here to our quest. Where is our quest at? It's up here. So we're going to go here to the forest here, and we are going to teleport over to Sumeru. I haven't shown you guys a lot of Sumeru. I've not been in there a lot. I, own, I have very little of it explored at this point because I've been working on other areas. I've been looking to get Mondstadt uh, leveled up. But you guys notice that this part looks a lot like Zanger Marsh. If you guys remember um, World of Warcraft days, Zanger Marsh was one of my favorite areas of all World of Warcraft. It really was. So now i got to talk to this douche with the mustache. So There you are. Looks like you two are ready. Very well. Let me inform you of some details. Spontamod has been involved with the ley lines for a long time, and it's imperative that their current is constantly monitored. This research project was also organized to help meet, however, because of normal fluctuations often occur in Sumeru domains, we must regularly send people deep into various sins. It's often dangerous inside the domain. Now, this looks like a short of only dispatching personnel with combat capabilities. Okay, looks like this is a to go into the domain and record any ley line anomalies. However, if you encounter any danger, no, I'm just going to beat ass. Priority. Well, those are all the necessary details. When you're ready. All right, I'm entering. Let's see what we do here. Okay, in each second blooming event challenge, travelers must form three teams and engage all three consecutive rounds of combat. Ooh, they must defeat all opponents in the allotted time and can earn bonus points from the time they have left. You will earn different levels of insignias based on the score you obtain. Good. During the party formation process, linked char characters will appear in the party multiple times per round and gain buffs. Each team can select two support skills to help them do battle. Let's rock and roll. This is always fun. This looks to me like something delicious. Um, ah, here we go. Okay, so we got the new event. Looks like we got some nice, nice rewards. Very nice. I like that. It's one of the things. I, one of the reasons I really like Genshin is because they throw different events at you about every week, every other week, and it's fantastic. Ooh, what's this over here? I don't even. Oh, is that the? Uh, Mushrooms? It is Rukashava mushrooms. I don't know why I need them, but I just I don't see them very often. Alright, let's roll. Let's see what we can get here. Okay. Uh, apply a special mark to a random opponent causing the opponent's physical and all physical and all elemental res to resistance to decrease by 30%. After defeating this marked opponent, all party members will enter a valiant Valiant state when the current active carry hits an opponent shockwave will be unleashed at that opponent's position This effect can be triggered once every two seconds a maximum of four shockwaves Can be unleashed each time team enters the valiant state another random opponent will be marked 10 seconds after the currently marked opponent is down It's like we're fighting meta churls and ruined destroyers and earth guards. All right, let's give it a shot here Okay, how do I want to do my parties? Well, let's see They've given us some trial characters. Fantastic. I get to show you guys some trial characters. That's awesome. 
So let's just go with the first group and trial it up. Uh, let's see what we can do here. There's linked. Okay, so then the second group. Uh, I'm going to do, hmm, let's see. I definitely want water with that. No, I don't want him. I want water with that. And I want, uh, let's do electro. And then our third group I want to do is, do, 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 do. see if I'm going to have water. So I'm going to have ice as well. And I'm going to have, let's see, let's bring old Zhongli along and da, 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 Kazuha. We'll go from there. Let's see what we can do here, guys. And I want to get, let's see, lux, luxuriant rhythm, trigger a burning, quicken, quicken aggravate, spread or bloom, hyper bloom reaction. Uh, let's see. So definitely want that for that group, no doubt. Let's see. And then intertwine roots, normal attack. So uh, how do I put one in there? Maybe I double it? Ah, right click. Okay. And then I want that one. Normal attack damage, elemental skill damage. Electro damage bonus, because at least as Electro, I'll take that. I uh, definitely want... Let's see, I need water here, is that right? Dendro damage bonus. And let's see, elemental mastery 200. Yes, that'll work. And then attack and crit. That works for me. All right, let's see what this does. I've not played this this type of game before, so I don't know what it is, but it's nice to have a Hytham. You guys get to see him in action, which is always fun. I don't have him, I will not get him in this round, but I will love to see how he does that. Let's do it. Here you are. A process of elimination. No, easy there. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> There's Lisa. Let's spark things up. Woo -hoo -hoo. Watch out. This place for you. Make yourselves at home. Stay put. Hey, hey. There's your healer. There's our Hytham. Hytham is very good, although I just don't want him. I'm saving up my, I'm saving up my primos for uh, Baiju. I really want Baiju. I like Baiju a lot. Shine down, Inazuma shines eternal. Come a little closer. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have switched off over. There is no escape. All right, there's our Hytham. So you guys can see him in action. He's built a lot like uh, Kaching. He runs Kaching's character kind of mold. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, looky here, lots of water boys. All right. Quake, this is order. I love Zhongli. Zhongli is my favorite. I love Zhongli a lot. Now, when I'm fighting water things, ice works really well against them. Woo! She is so effective against ice. Or against water, my goodness. I could use her with Kakomi. I really could. It's fine. It's mix and match. I like Mona with Kakomi better. Um... But I, you know, I there's a, another, you know, it's not really a good reason why I don't have both of them on my team. But Kokomi just works better with that Dendro group. And, and, and uh, there we go. All right, we got it. So there's a good start. I got a silver, so let's see what that does for me. I don't know what a gold would require. I would assume I'd need more than that. So let's take a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So, uh, let's see. 2,000 points gets me 80 Primo Gems. Nice. 4,000 points. So I need 8,000 points. So I need to do that better. And then the next one is... Okay, so it looks like uh, it's just that. So we're going to go ahead and try it again. And see if I can get 8,000. I may switch up that first group. Okay. Oh, I get the Museum of Innocence now. Nice. Okay, so easy score multiplier, normal score multiplier by two, or hard score multiplier by four. I'll try normal, see what that does for me. So let's start. Uh, I don't know if I really like this group. I'm going to take her out of that, and I'm going to put in, hmm, because Kokomi works in there. 
Let's see. Uh, I just don't need all these dendro folks. Um, and I don't necessarily really want Lisa in that group either. So let's start with... Hmm. Let me take out Jean. Let me just clear everything here. Let me reset all the teams. Okay. So I want to start with Alhytham because he's going to be my main DPS on those groups. And then I want to do... Let's see. I'm going to do Kokomi. Actually, let me do, let me do Kokomi here because Kokomi can be part of those groups. Um, let's see. I really need... Oh, boy, I really need some fire in here. Virgin would be really nice in here. Let's do Bennett in there. And then we'll do Kokomi. And then we will do... Uh, let's do Lisa on that group. And then I want to do... Raiden, and I want to do, let's see, let's put Zhongli in that group, and then what we'll do next is we'll do, uh, to start this one, we'll do Ito, no, wait, take that back, we'll do, uh, well, we'll just, well, let's just do it this way, let's see if that works, and Kazuha, I uh, cancel, I want to get some of these in here, so this first group is definitely going to be Burgeon. Uh, let's see, Electro Damage Bonus is definitely going to be here, which I want there, and then the bottom one here is Elemental Mastery, Dendro Damage. Dendro Damage is going to be up here, so let's do that, and then here is going to be, we'll do a Normal Attack, because Zhongli's in there, and then we'll do this one, which is going to be Elemental Mastery, which is good here and crit let's start it see if we can do it with the damage multiplier now maybe that'll get us what we need to get all right let's do this i'm going to start with lisa first so she can do this everybody can wait their turn all right whatever you know what all of you can die just stay bunched up will you there's i'll hide them Hello. Come a little closer. Let's light it up. <laughs> Here you are. Now you can see I'll hide them. Urine. There we go. Okay, that was a nice first group. They did a lot of good work. All right. So we're going to start with Zhongli because we need to drop the shield early. Let's do this. Dropping the shield. Dropping the meteor. Yes, he drops a meteor. You see now Raiden just swinging with utter abandon. She's doing very well. Alright. Scatter. I will have orders. more more illusion shattered torn to oblivion where's the other guy there he is you're dead see ya oh hello there's more here quake drop the shield there is no escape I'll hide them all right, let's clean it up, buddy. I'm glad you guys get to watch and see how high him because he is. I, I I am very impressed by him. So I am very impressed by high him. I don't necessarily want to roll for him, but we'll see. All right, Ushi. Ito just kills. He always does. Here we go. Ayaka. Raiden. But the key here, guys, is always, always, always hit with multiple characters, multiple enemies, multiple elements to get the max damage. So, like, Ayaka can just fly around and pose everybody, groups them up, and then everybody takes care of it. You get them grouped up and everything's good. Who wants 
some of this. All right, let's hit these boys. Oh, Lord. Time to die, all of you. See how that just tears off on those guys. And they're frozen. And then they're toast. Alright, I'd say that's a high score. What do you guys think? So, there you go. You guys can see that it's, it's, it's not terribly difficult. But when you roll that... but. The one thing I regret more than anything else, and this is one thing that, that I I may rectify, I don't know, it just depends, but next expansion, I believe, or the next update is 3.5, and that will be Dia. And if you guys don't know who Dia is, uh, I can't really show her to you right now because she's not available. But Dia is, I don't have a main DPS fire, and I would love to get a main DPS fire Uh and because I don't have it, I really, and I don't have any really good main DPS fires. The best main DPS fire is Hutal. She's not out yet, and I, I would like to roll on her. So that's why I wanted to hold off and rolling from Dia. But that's my goal. So, guys, that is it for Wednesday Night Genshin. Take care. My name is Tim. If you guys could give me a subscribe, I would appreciate it. We're going to keep rolling with Wednesday Night Genshin. Thank you again, guys, for subscribing and for watching me tonight. Thank you. Take care.